Andy Mendoza here alongside Stevenson head coach Ed Hoddle. Coach, uh, a tough one obviously this, this evening. Uh, really a tale of two halves uh, in this game. What did you see? What kind of adjustments did you guys make in the second half that really uh, got the offense going and the defense get some stops there in the second half? Well, I mean, I think we, we just didn't tackle well in the first half defensively. I think, uh, you know, what they do scheme-wise creates some extra gaps. And we knew it would be tough to defend, and we were able to, you know, get enough stops in the second half. You know, obviously giving up the two touchdowns was, was, was big. But, you know, and I think we were able to clean some blocking stuff up offensively in the second half and, and give Ryan a little bit of time, and we were able to start to run the ball a little bit. But, you know, at the end of the day, you got to be able to run the ball and you got to be able to stop the run. And um, I think we struggled in both areas tonight, and it's something we'll have to look at and clean up. You mentioned Ryan, obviously, uh, not the outcome that, that he would want or that you would want, but a, a lot of positives, I thought, coming from that game. You know, a young quarterback staying in the pocket, taking some hits. It's something that maybe you can build on. Obviously, he has a connection with Keenan now, had a great game. Uh, what can you say about Ryan? What can you say about Keenan and the effort they gave tonight? Well, I mean, they spend a lot of time together. You know, they work pre game, they work post practice, they spend a lot of time working together, and I think they, there is a chemistry there. And I think as you look at, you know, a guy coming out of, you know, I mean, this is his second college start. So, um, yeah, I think he threw for 286 and, and, and hadn't thrown an interception yet. Um, you know, he's taking some sacks, taking some hits that we'd rather him, we'd rather him not take. And, and sure. he and I, he and I talk about that often. Um, but I think you know where he is is a you know guy starting the second game, done a good job. And I think that you know the way Keenan plays, I mean, he plays with his hair on fire all the time and um, brings a lot of energy to the group. And, and you know, he's a good complement to Chaz and Vince and. Um, you know, I think they're going to do some special things you know, for the remainder of the season. Last one for you. Obviously, a, a tough one tonight, but you got to kind of shake it off quickly. A tough conference opponent next week on the road against Delaware Valley. Uh, how do you get your guys kind of to, to shake this one off and refocus for next week? You just go to work. You, yeah. you know, you, 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 we'll get in the film tomorrow and, um, you know, look at what we need to do to improve, and we'll get with the guys on Monday. And it, it really is just work. Just go to work. And, and it doesn't matter who we play. You know, the way we look at it, you know, the expectation of success is, you know, every Saturday that we strap it up and play. And, you know, we've got to be the best football team that we can be. You know, we don't spend a whole lot of time thinking about who we're playing, but we spend a great deal of time trying to go out and, and execute at a high level consistently. And that's, you know, a very introspective look that, that, that we choose. Because um, we feel like if, if, if we're playing the best football that we can play, we, we're going to be in every football game. Absolutely. You show that in the second half. Coach, good luck the rest of the way. Thanks so much for the time. Really appreciate it. Thank you. For more Stevenson Athletics, you can go to GoMustangSports.com.